100 rated chess, but each side has 8 queens, or you draw the spider queen. Well, I heard about the spider man, but never heard about his wife. We get a 174 from Spain. E4. Since I need to have 8 queens, pushing pawns early doesn't seem to be a great idea. Therefore, knight c6. d3. Not very aggressive. b6. Knight c3. And that was a pre-move. Very confident. Bishop b7. Nothing crazy so far. Bishop g5. Aha, now the crazy stuff is kicking in. f6. Somehow I feel like he's gonna play queen h5 check and blunder his bishop. Well, he didn't play queen h5, but still blunders his bishop. e5. Aha, very tricky. This guy is trying to trick me to go knight takes e5, which blunders my bishop back. Therefore, rook b8. d4. That blunders a pawn, but let's be careful. Taking on e5 will make my knight a bait for him to take, which blunders his queen, but since the mission requires my opponent to have 8 queens, losing a pawn and a queen will make his maximum amount of queens is 7, which fails the mission, which means even if he blunders his queen, I still cannot take it, so I'll be losing a knight, instead of winning a queen. Therefore, knight takes d4. Okay, now I have to be careful, because I cannot take any pawns, and I cannot take his queen. Bishop c4. That blunders a woman. But again, I cannot take it, due to the rules. e6. Actually, when you think about it, how am I supposed to win this mission anyway? Ha! Huh. I guess I don't have to think about how to win the mission anymore. King takes f7 is forced. Alright then, it's drawing time, but when I google search for spider queen, there are too many results, so I guess I will just pick one myself. Yeah, I think it's fine.